Hi Libras, how's it going? It's your girl Nosh. <clears throat> this is going to be your reading for the first half of April. And we already got two a card popping out. We got the two of pentacles. What's going on? What are you guys juggling? Are you juggling two people as always, Libra? As soon as I said that, the sun just like popped on my face. You are juggling two people, aren't you? Trying to figure out who you want to be with. Yeah, Libra, here you are. Here's your energy right here. Hold on, guys. Let me just move this for a second. The song playing in the background is uh, Mercy by Shawn Mendes. I love this song. So you, so someone needs to have mercy on you, huh? Because you're thinking about this person a lot. All right, so what's going on with Libras? Uh, Ascended Masters, Divine Universe, I ask that you please protect me while I do the message. Um, I ask that you protect the Libras that are watching this. Uh, and please guide us in the right direction that you need us to be in. Uh, so three cards for Libra. What's going on for the first half of April? Three cards for Libra. Someone's moving slow, got a Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, tower card. One more card. One more card. There we go. All right, so Libras, um, you're definitely moving slow towards somebody or somebody is moving very slowly towards you and this could, person could be a Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo. This could be you, um, yourself as well too. Um, like if you could have this in your sun or your rising and you could have Libra in your moon or you could have Libra in your rising, vice versa, you know, you can plug it in however you guys want. So you guys have the Knight of Pentacles, you guys have the Tower card, and you guys have the Six of Pentacles upside down. Six of Pentacles upside down. Hmm. 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 Alright, so Libra, your first card is basically telling me that the Knight of Pentacles, like I said, you're moving slowly towards somebody. It's like you targeted in on someone and you're moving slowly now. Or someone's targeted on you and you're they're moving slowly towards you, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is always someone who moves very slowly, like... But the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles is, like, once he makes his decision, that's where he sticks with, you know? So this is good. This will be good for you, Libras, if you're trying to make a decision. Um, or if you, were, if you were making a decision or someone was making a decision about you, they finally come to a point where they've decided and now they're going to start moving, but... Don't hold your breath on this because this may take a while because again, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving card. Then you have the Tower. The Tower is always um, something that everyone is afraid of, but I love this card because this means whatever that was, you know, not working right in your life, the universe is actually going to come and destroy it for you. So if you were holding on to something that you really shouldn't have and the cycle was up for it and the expiration time is there and you need to get evicted and that's exactly what's going to happen. The universe is going to come in and actually pull it out of your hands because sometimes as humans we have a hard time letting go and Libras you guys um I love you guys but you guys always have a hard time letting go with things um like I need my shades man it's like so like oh but yeah you guys have a hard time letting go of things um and this is what this is talking about where the tower is gonna come in and help you let go so this is a good thing um it's, I don't see this as anything bad as like, you know, oh, something's going to end, like your job is going to end or like, you know, you're going to lose money. I just feel like it's going to be emotions wise where it's going to be, you're, it's going to be constructed in a sense where you're going to finally understand that this is not good for you. That You know what, you, you really need to go because instead of being happy or, or being um, fulfilled or being watered, you, you guys are being drained, you guys are being dry dried out completely like blood dry kind of I want to say and this is where the universe is going to be like hey Libra what's up yeah you can't have this anymore you gotta let it go you gotta let it go bud you gotta let it go because the next card I'm seeing is the six of pentacles upside down and the six of pentacles if you guys look at it this way um it's like someone evenly giving money out you know what I mean evenly distributing something when it's like this it kind of feels like, you know, where someone's giving too much or not giving enough and that's how you're feeling, where that's why this tower card had to come in, you know, where that's why you had to slow down. You had to slow down and figure things out. Like, wait a minute, I'm putting all this, you know, effort into this, this, let's say it's a Capricorn, you know, Taurus or Virgo, because the Knight of Pentacles is um, an Earth element. Um, it kind of makes me look at it in a sense where I'm getting the feeling where the Knight of Pentacles is you looking at the situation like, you know what, maybe I need to slow down, you know, take a step back and look at this really quickly because maybe I'm giving too much. Maybe maybe this person's not giving enough to me, you know, the way I'm giving it to them. And that's where the, um, the tower is coming in, where the universe is like, yeah, Libra, they're not giving you what you deserve. They're not giving as much as you are. Maybe it is time to pull back. So 
Leapers, I'm sorry, but I do see, um, I don't want to say this, but, um, I have to be honest. I do see a breakup coming up. Um, this could be with someone who, again, is an earth sign. Um, or you could be kind of like, you know, stepping back from this earth sign. Um, again, someone's giving too much and the other person's not, not reciprocating that, that, that give and take cycle, you know? Um, Libras, I, I feel bad because, um, but then again, this, this could be you guys doing this to someone. Just, just remember that, you know, cards go vice versa. We could have a few Libras out there that are, that are actually doing this to someone else where they're taking, taking, taking from someone and not giving enough to them. But, um, I just want you to know that even through this breakup, oh, I feel so bad. Even through this breakup, I feel like, you know what, you will learn so much. Your experience is going to grow even more. So for the next person that comes into your life, it's going to be easier for you to, you know, determine whether this person is good for you or not. Because that's why we go through these relationships. These relationships are our stepping stones. Um, every heartbreak is a stepping stone, guys. Uh, Libras, I don't want you to feel like it's your fault. It's not your fault. Um... Because I know, it seems like you wanted to hold on to this. You really did not want to let this go. You did not want this break to come. But it's going to happen, guys, because right now we are needing to be aligned to where we're supposed to be. Most, most of us have our, you know, the North Node is in Cancer. And most of our, you know, most of us have North Node in our natal charts. Or we have North uh, South Node in Capricorn or, or North Node in Capricorn. And the North and the South Node are very important for you to actually move forward. And, and actually do the destined work that you're supposed to do. Um... I know destiny and fate are a little tricky thing, you know, a couple of tricky things that we kind of, we can look at it through so many different perspectives, but Libra, you guys are my open-minded people. I always feel that you're destined to be somewhere and everything happens because of fate, you know, everything's fated. So whoever you meet, whoever comes into your life, it was fated and it was fated for the reason for you to learn something because now you're going to take your steps going towards destiny. Now destiny could be that this, there's going to be another person coming in. Or destiny could be that you could just be, you know, focusing more on your career, uh, focusing more on yourself um, and loving yourself. And through loving yourself and focusing on yourself, you can find that person who actually matches your energy. Because the tower always comes in when someone's not matching your energy. Um, this could also be that you're matching your... The, okay. The tower always comes in when something is not matching. Like if you're vibrating higher than the other person that you're with, the tower will come in and, and separate you guys because everyone needs to vibe at the same frequency. When you vibe at the frame, same frequency, it's easier to be on the page with each other. When someone's off, a, you know, off balance on a frequency, it, that's where arguments happen. That's where bickering happens because no one's seeing, you know, from the, I guess, from the same viewpoint. Or even if you don't see from the same viewpoint, at least be open and accepting towards another's viewpoint. But that's why the tower comes in because everyone's being stubborn and they don't want to see past, you know, either their hurt or or whatever emotion, situ emotional situation that's going on. So Libra, I'm very sorry to inform you. Yeah, there is a breakup coming in um, and it might be a slow process, but it's gonna happen okay because again you don't you don't deserve to be with this person and or this person doesn't deserve to be with you libra if it's you libra i'm really sorry that's doing this to this other person but you know let them go but if this is a cross watcher that's not giving enough to libra and libra's been giving you a lot you need to let them go because if not it's, it's gonna happen regardless so libra that's your reading um you know what can i get a clarifier for this reading yeah, Page of Pentacles. You're gonna you're gonna want to start something new. It's gonna be a new beginning. Something new completely. It's, it's gonna be more focusing you being focused more on your career or your work because the Page of Pentacles is this guy holding you know his little pentacle in his hand and he's like, okay, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make a dollar out of fifty cents. You know what I mean? And I think that's what you're gonna be doing, Libra. You're gonna be more focused on yourself, more focused on your work. Um, less than this person, um, less focus on this person who, you know, hurt you. And it's okay, Libra, don't worry. You guys are the strong ones. You know, you guys are beautiful souls. Um, you guys love relationships. Um, you guys love harmony. You love balance. You love balance. So it's, it's only, it's only understandable why the universe would come in and just kind of like, you know, separate you guys because someone is not being fair and someone's not being just, you know, just like your sign, you're fair. And, and, I, and I saw earlier justice pop out. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, Slavers, that's your reading. Uh, I'm sorry for a little bit of the bad news, but you know what? Honestly, I don't look at this as bad news. Um, I actually had a client tell me a long time ago when I had delivered news to her like that, like, you know, there's a breakup coming. She kind of said to me, you know what? I'm kind of happy that you said that to me. Um, and I was like, why? She goes, because with every breakup, I'm getting closer to who I need to be with. And 
I normally, I think that way, but I didn't want to say that to someone who was going through a breakup because everybody goes through breakups differently, you know? But yes, man, um, that's definitely a fact that once you break up with something, with something, yeah, it could be once you break up with something or you, ta you, know, you detach your commitments with something or someone, you're able to move forward to where you're supposed to be and where your happiness is at. You're getting closer to your happiness. That's what I want to say, okay? So this might be a good thing for you. I personally think everything is a good thing if you, you know, if you look at it from a certain perspective. So Libra, enjoy your weekend. Don't worry about it. You know, just brush it off. You'll be fine, okay? I love you guys. See you later.